Hi, I'm here to talk to you about speed. Specifically, three types of speed. Velocity, acceleration, and well, speed. Let's talk about speed. Man, I've said that word a lot now, oh my god. Now let's say I'm right here and I'm going to run along this road for around 212 meters. We can calculate how fast my average speed is by timing how long it takes for me to run the full distance. Hence, distance divided by time. So let's do that. And I also have super speed. It took me 1.6 seconds to run 212 meters. If we put these values into our formula, 212 meters over 1.6 seconds, we get a whopping speed of 132.5 meters per second. Do you have any idea of how fast that is? Now, if we were calculating velocity, there would have to be a few changes. One of them is instead of using distance, we would use displacement. So the equation would be delta displacement over delta time. One more thing that velocity uses is direction. Now if we were to do this scenario again, but we use velocity, we would now have to include direction. So how long would it take me to run 212 meters if I ran 4.3 meters per second due southeast? Yeah, I don't have super speed anymore. Okay, so we know how fast I was going, and we know the distance that I traveled. The question is, how long did it take me to run that distance? Well, let's take a look. We need to get time by itself, so we can multiply both sides by time, which will give us this. Now to truly get time by itself, we can divide both sides by 4.3, which in the process will get rid of this and divide 212 by 4.3, which will mean that time is equal to around 49 seconds. There you go. Now the equation for acceleration is a bit different. The equation for acceleration is your final velocity minus your starting velocity divided by time. Let's take that same running scenario, but this time, I trip. Alright, let's get our formula. The final velocity would be zero because, well, I'm still currently laying on the ground in pain. Our starting velocity is 132.5 meters per second. We figured that out earlier in our speed equation. I timed how long my fall was and got the answer 0.56 seconds. Now if we run the calculation, we get an answer of negative 236.6 meters a second squared. Now that is pretty fast. So there you have it, all three speeds. Now keep in mind that these scenarios are a bit unrealistic. You know, last I checked, people aren't running over 130 meters per second. But you can still use these in real-world scenarios, like driving a car or throwing a ball straight up into the air. Either way, you can still find uses for these. Um, this kind of concludes the video now. I'm gonna take this down now. Oh, shoot. Okay. Thank you.